Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're going to do a side-by-side -side cooking test with a couple of ribeye steaks. So I have these two ribeyes. They have been dry brining in the refrigerator for 24 hours. That's why they look a little dried out. That's on purpose. And then I've let them sit out here on the countertop for about 30 minutes to sort of let them come up to room temperature just a little bit. One of them I'm going to season and cook in the oven at 250 degrees and then bring it up to temperature for about a medium rare and then reverse sear it in the cast iron skillet. The other one, since I have now discovered once again <laughs> that the reason I bought this microwave is because it doubles as an air fryer. I had totally forgotten that for months and months and months. We're going to cook the second ribeye in the air fryer, and then we're going to compare the two, how they look compared to each other, and most importantly, how they taste next to each other. So stick around. Now, in case you don't know what dry brining is, we've talked about that on this channel, but just in case, uh, you, you know, you haven't watched one of those, I've got a couple of check eyes here, and I bought these today. They're marked down, um, they're marked down from $14.15 to $8.49, so they went from $12.98 a pound to $7.79 a pound. And now that I'm gonna cook the ribeyes, I'm gonna need some steak sort of in the, uh, in the hopper <laughs> to cook later. So I just wanna show you what I do to make these dry brine. So I've got some coarse kosher salt. This is what I always use. People ask me, can I just use regular salt? Well, yeah, you can, I suppose, but this really does work the best. And I am going to very liberally cover this steak. I'm going to pat that in and I'm going to turn it over. Now, you know, sometimes I would go so far as to uh, do the sides as well. Yes, I know I just wipe my hand on my towel. Don't shoot me. Um, and basically, this is what I've got. I want it liberally covered with the salt. <clears throat> and these will go back in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours for me. It could be 12 hours. Um, sometimes I leave them in there for 48 hours. But when they're done, they will look like these ribeyes. All that salt will have been absorbed into the meat. So it's already flavored with salt. But it will also act as a tenderizer so that the steak will turn out more tender when you cook it. So these are going back in the refrigerator. Now, as far as seasoning these two steaks, I'm going to do two things. First of all, because they're already salted, I don't need to add any more salt. <clears throat> but I am going to add some pepper to one side. And this is just regular, ordinary ground black pepper. And I'm going to pat that in so it doesn't fall off. Let me wash my hands so that uh, people won't be griping at me too much in the comments. I'm pretty much over all that now anyway. I cook the way I cook. If it's not the way you cook, that's fine. Um, but the secret ingredient for me in cooking a ribeye indoors, now if I'm cooking this outdoors on charcoal, I don't do this, but indoors I have some coffee that I have ground up in my grinder back here, and I am going to coat the back side of this with coffee. Now, sometimes I do both sides, but today I'm just gonna do this one side, and I'm just gonna put some coffee all over the steak. People that have tried this at home have left me all kinds of comments on my other ribeye uh, from months and months ago saying best steak they've ever cooked. So trust me when I tell you, you cannot go wrong with putting this coffee on here. Okay, now I have a pan here and I'm just gonna pop one of these steaks on this pan 
and pop it in the oven, it needs, it's going to wind up cooking a little longer than the, um, than the one that's in the air fryer. And I'm going to turn this cook time on to 20 minutes. And somewhere between 20 minutes and 30 minutes is the magic number. I want to check the internal temperature. So I have this other one. Let me just kind of wipe this off a little bit and get the pepper out of here. And in my microwave, and I will wind up heating this up just before I put this in, but in my microwave, it calls for this stand and this pan. Now this pan, I wiped it out because I cooked something in it a while ago, but I haven't washed it, so, you know. I'm a single man, who cares? Um, but all that you have to do, ah, there it is. <laughs> Where'd my steak go? Is put this steak on the pan. Now, in most air fryers, they will tell you, you know, for a steak, it's like six to eight minutes for rare, eight to 10 minutes for medium rare, or maybe getting closer to medium. So we're gonna cook it for eight minutes when it goes in. But a lot of times they will tell you at the four or five minute mark, take it out, turn it over, put it back in. My microwave has that built in. When it is time to turn the steak, it will tell me it's time to turn the steak. And I will pull it out, turn it over. We'll do that together so you can kind of see how it's, how it's moving. And um, we'll go from there. Now, because it's only going to take 10 minutes, I'm going to let this cook about 10 minutes before I start over here. So we'll be back, we'll be back in a few. Well, it'll be like instantaneous for you, but you know. All right, so I've had the pan in the air fryer in the microwave heating up, <clears throat> and I'm gonna pull it out now. That little buzz you hear just reminds me that the pan is hot so that I don't reach in and try to pull it out with my fingers. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this on here. Let's see if it sizzles. Uh, just a little, okay. So I'm gonna put it on with the uh, coffee side up to start with. We're gonna put it in here. And again, I'm gonna start it at eight minutes, but it may take longer than that depending on the internal temperature because I've never cooked a ribeye in this air fryer before. So let's see what we got. And for steaks, you want to set your air fry at 400 degrees. And this microwave, I can't set individual temperatures. It just has set temperatures like 325, 350, 375. So I've got it set at 400. I'm going to set it on eight minutes. Now at some point, probably around the five and a half, six minute mark, it will tell me that it's time to turn the steak and we'll come back when it's time to do that. Okay, so it is now beeped at me to tell me that it's time to turn it. Now the thing about it is, is that if I don't get there right away, it keeps cooking, whether I turn it or not, okay? And again, that beeping is just telling me that it is hot and we're going to flip this over. Now I have to say, that's not looking too bad. Let me pull it up where you can see it. It's not a sear, but it's not looking too bad. So I'm gonna put this back in here. And press start. It has another two minutes and 10 seconds left. The steak has another three minutes inside the uh, oven and we'll be back again in a minute. All right, so we're just about coming up to the end of time in the air fryer. I'm gonna pull it out, it's got about 20 more seconds. I'm gonna pull it out and take a temperature on it and see if it's about where I want it or if I need to leave it in another minute or so. Remember it's six to eight minutes for rare and eight to 10 minutes for medium rare. 
I, I think. I have to go back and check my temperature, but it could be that I'm closer to medium rare than I, than I thought. So let's pull this out and see what it says. The, uh, the steak in the oven has about a minute left. And then we will have to sear it. All right, let's see what this does. Temperature still climbing. It's about 102. It's 110 over here, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave that one. Now let's pull this one out. I don't think it's to temperature yet. Yeah, this one's going to need another, at least another five minutes or so. So let's put that back in there. turn the cast iron skillet off for now because I don't need it to be ready. Unfortunately, they're not going to come out at the same time, but we'll see what we can do to uh, kind of compare the two. All right, so it's just about time to pull this out. I'm just going to go ahead and click that off, clear that off. My skillet is really hot here. Now, I don't know that both of these steaks are going to be the same internal temperature. So that may be a, a bad test of the two. And I'm gonna let that sizzle up just a little bit on that side. We'll flip it over real quick. We'll bring it over here to this side. Now I can see on this steak that it actually doesn't look too bad. Now this is 20 minutes in the oven. I've dirtied a pan. I have to do a, a, a sear. I've dirtied another pan. And um, I'll be honest, it, it likes to, I've got some butter in this pan. It likes to splatter a lot, which means that typically I get junk all over my shirt. So a lot of times I will just cook in my t-shirt just in case, but you know, I'm not doing that for this video. And uh, I went ahead and started with the coffee side down. So I could wind up with the coffee side up. So I'm going to just let that sear just a little bit more. I'm not bringing the camera over here to show it to you, but you can kind of, if I get out of the way, maybe you can kind of see that it's sizzling and smoking and all the good stuff that it's supposed to do. This one, it's just kind of laying here. <laughs> all right, let's turn that off. Now, this one is actually a little bigger steak than the other one. And just for fun, I'm going to pour this butter over both of them. Because one thing I've learned eating carnivore is you never let butter go to waste. All right. Now I'm going to let this sit for just a minute, but not too long. And this one's already been sitting. So I'm going to cut this one. Now remember, if you're looking at this video up here, this one here is the one that was done in the air fryer. And I'm just going to cut off a piece here so that we can kind of take a look. Probably should have sharpened my knife up a little bit. That's not a bad medium rare. It, it's, it's a little bit, eh, maybe a little bit rare right in the middle, but it's, it's got a really good color and texture to it. The air fryer is still pretty tender. I would have expected it to have been a little tougher than that. Still pretty tender. I think that the coffee grounds are going to be better on the one where it's seared. This is okay, but I kind of, I kind of taste the grittiness of the coffee grounds. So let's see what this one looks like. This one is not done quite as much, I don't think, in the middle. No, this one's, this one's actually quite rare. That's on me. Uh, I got a little over anxious. 
Now, rare is not a problem for me because I like my steaks rare. So this one is a lot more rare than the, um, than the air fryer. And it's definitely more tender. There's no question. It's more tender than the air fryer. But on a normal day, to cook this in eight minutes and only have this one pan, I don't know if it's cooled off enough or not, but just to have this one pan, and honestly, I can just wipe that out with a paper towel and it's ready for the next thing to cook. Now I've already cooked some fried eggs in here. They turn out really great. I've cooked some hamburger patties in here. They turned out really great. I, I may just have to sort of get my timing down on this. I did this for eight minutes. Maybe it should have been seven minutes to get more like this steak, which is really kind of, you know, where I like my steak. So this one is, is pretty rare, 25, 24 minutes or so in the oven at 250 and then a sear. And this one was eight minutes in the air fryer at 400 degrees. For me, this is, this is great, but for me, seven minutes might've been better. And I'll be honest with you, it's really a toss up. I do believe that the one cooked in the oven with the reverse sear is a little more tender. And because I put the coffee grounds on there, I think the coffee grounds are seared in a little better. But the one in the air fryer, it's got a really nice flavor. Flavor wise, I can't tell the difference between the two. Um, it just looks a little different in the middle. And when I cook my next one, I'll cook it for seven minutes and see what that does for me. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you cooking your steaks in an air fryer at home? Do you have a regular air fryer? This is a GE microwave. I don't know if I can, kind of, if I can find the model number. I'll put it in the description below in case you decide if you need to replace a microwave and you want to get one with an air fryer in it. This is not a bad way to go. Let me know what you think in the comments and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.